by Alexei Sukhachev, photos by Lawrence Lustig Monaco in the co-feature, it wasnt easy but undefeated Germany-based Turk Agat Kabyle retained his European heavyweight title by scoring the biggest win of his young career a majority decision over not so determined former world title challenger Derek Dal Boichisora over 12 rounds. WBC 12, WBO 13 and IBF 14 Kabyle, though the bigger of the two, remained at a long range against usually aggressive Chisora. This time, however, Del Boy was slow and lethargic specifically, in the first round. Kabyle did a better job with his jab and lateral movement. Chisora, 33, did better in the second and in the third by landing some huge shots even though Kabyle took them fairly well. Kabyle replied with some solid leather in the fourth and in the fifth but the bread was a notch better in the midset. Still power and intensity of Chisora WASNT enough to prevent Kabyle from moving around the ring. Kabyle had some success especially after the midpoint with his sudden offensive. Neither fighter was ever rocked or shocked but both were faded after 11 rounds. It was Kabyle who wanted more to get the 12th and arguably the crucial round. One judge had it 114,114 a draw, while the other two awarded it to Kabyle 115,113 and 115,114. Agat Kabyle, a young one at 25, acquired his belt early this year with a win over 261 Herb Hubo. He is 170, with 12 KOs, now. WBC Chesora, with his fourth career splitter majority loss, goes down to 278, 19 KOs. Former world champion Scott Quigg 3,412, 25 KOs is back on the road to become a Tawait world champion in 2018 after picking up a sixth round stoppage of Oleg Yefimovich 2,921, 16 KOs in a eliminator for the WBA featherweight title. It was a battle of youth and power versus age and experience. Youth has clearly prevailed, although 36-year-old Ukrainian, formerly a European 126 pounds titlist, gave Quig, 29, fits in technique department. However, it was nowhere about technique or style or boxing chess. The fight was all about power, as the British fighter wasted no time in getting to the veteran boxer. His punches visibly felt by Yefimovich were inflicting damage since the opening bell. Yefimovich connected with some good shots in the opening rounds but his power was unable to distract on rushing Quig. Showing tenacity and determination the British boxer continued to stalk the Ukrainian in rounds 3 and 4. Oleg's counter punches got sparser as the fight progressed, his eyes starting to swell under the power of Quig. Referee Luis Paban began to watch carefully after Yefimovich, as he looked like a beaten man. Battery continued in round 5 as Quig induced a grimace of pain on Yefimovic's face with several well-placed body shots. Paban asked Yefimovic about his further plans after the 5th, and the Ukrainian vehemently rejected any though of surrender. Yet he was still stopped by Paban at 050 of the 6th and rightfully so after eating several more combos from the Brit. IBF 2, WBC 3 and WBO 10 Scott Quig was announced as the WBA obligatory challenger after this fight. Quig is honing his skills in the wildcard gym with the Hall of Fame coach and they were ringside when WBA Super King Leo Santa Cruz and regular champion Abner Mares were in action in California two weeks ago, where both men won via stoppage. Yefimovich is ranked at number 4 in the WBA. The win for Quig puts him right in the mix for a world title clash in 2018. Tags. Photos Scott Quig Oleg Yefimovich Derek Chisora Agat Kabyle.